The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German. A.K.A. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> woo <Woo-hoo. laughs> I'm just getting louder and louder, buddy. That's what happens. It's, they're yeah. doing the wave. They're, is that what they're doing? It's weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there's only, what, 400 people in here? Yeah, I know, And right? they're actually pulling off a, a good wave. Yeah. Well, Scotty, I'm, I'm going to say this. No what? matter where you go, no matter what you do, you are a horse's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And also, uh, another excellent Senate comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. We like to call him the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. Yeah, Scotty, I am going to push over your moped. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just point something out? What? Yes, please. You do. say we like to call him the wreck. We have never <laughs> yeah. called him the wreck under any circumstances except during the introduction. Right? Yeah, pretty much it. We yeah. do not like to call him the wreck. We I, also don't make loud noises ever. Nope. Bullshit. Mm-mm. Yeah. You don't know what fucking loud is. Yeah, it's true. I'm gonna fuck fire off my pistol later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fair Show enough. you what loud is. <laughs> That's right. You're gonna have matching living rooms. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. Uh, but we've got an excellent episode for you guys today. If this is your very first time listening to this show. Well, I don't think it's real. I think it's going to be like a six out of ten. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That, that's about all I'm bringing, yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. Um, but uh, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time they're targeted towards me and I'm fine with it. I think we should do just one serious episode. Okay. Like a very special Laughing on the mm-hmm. sidelines. Okay, we could do I that. Like that. Yep. Okay, we could do that. We should make that our Thanksgiving episode and just talk about what we're thankful for. <laughs> we should. Okay, fair enough. And, and mistreatment religion. of the Native Americans <laughs> and religion and yeah. politics. Yeah. We should do all that all in one. Absolutely, no. it'll be our TED talk. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fuck Fifteen no. minutes. Done. Out of here, nice and tight. I can do a happy hot. holidays, everybody. <laughs> I can do a good hot fifteen on our Lord and Savior. Absolutely. Allah. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is uh, it's also an adult podcast where we like to you know, use foul language and make loud noises. They're lying. Uh, so that's not your thing in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Whew. My goodness. Guys. What? Uh, I, missed, I missed you both. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Come on. Not Take even a something bit? large and ram it right in your ass. <laughs> 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 No, I don't want to. And pre- preferably very dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. It's not going to want to go in. You just got to be forceful about it. Be persistent. Yeah, like be obnoxious <laughs> about it, like you are with every goddamn thing else. Yeah, yeah that's like true. A, like a baseball bat wrapped in sandpaper. <laughs> oh, my God. Go with that. Big end first. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead. Treat yourself, Scotty. Spit on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. My pleasure. Uh, but we do. We've got a lot of stuff to go over. There's a lot of moves going on in uh, both Major League Baseball and the I'd NFL. I'd like to move to my fucking car. <laughs> we've got shotgun. <laughs> yeah, we've, do. <laughs> we've got real shit, horror shit. We've got bad advice, overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, a draft, and as always, another shitty situation. But before we get on to the sports in the episode, let's go over what happened to us over this last week. We call this our week week recap. So, Derek. What? What'd you do this weekend, buddy? Pickled or, pickled my liver. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, did, I did too. That is, it was March Madness, and uh, I went mad. Mm-hmm. I went to the bar to watch the Illinois game on uh, Friday, mm-hmm. and they won. I could not believe they won. They played like complete shit. Hold up your end of the argument. And then or on the, or the Sunday. Deal. You got to hold up your end of the deal. I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> And I then, think he's talking about your dick. You got to hold that <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah. No. I, well, I've, I've only just got, your end though. Yeah. 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 Who's yeah. who's got the other end, Scotty? <laughs> uh, my mine. You do. I'll, okay. I'll, all I'll right. Get, I'll get to it. <laughs> so went and watched that, and then uh, Sunday again went and watched it, and then made uh, dinner reservations for me and my wife. 
who went to a concert. So then I called everybody in my phone book, and then I called Scotty. <laughs> and I had a nice romantic dinner with Scotty at Kobe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure was. It was absolutely delicious and beautiful. Um, I got a hand job. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. I drank way too much. Oh, yeah. He was a prick. He <laughs> I, was, was, I was a prick. He was prick Scotty. <laughs> yep. Sure was. Did he, was he like, what the hell is all this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you wouldn't have fucking forgot my lobster tail if you would have been too busy fucking around. <laughs> Sitting there playing with all the goddamn food instead of just cooking it. They did forget his lobster they tail. They did. They actually did. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a thing to forget. Yeah. Those generally aren't just uh, on the dollar menu. No. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, but no, it was, it was awesome. It was a really good time. Did you do anything else? No, I uh, recovered. Or no, Saturday I went out with uh, my wife. And That's ran good. into a bunch of friends, and so pickled my liver. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, great. So I might need a liver transplant. I know that's a vital organ, so and you can't live without it. So, right. Scotty, you're first on my list. Yep. Our blood types don't match, man. I think they do. Uh-uh. Yeah. Nope. Um, but anyways. Mine's Jameson. What's yours? <laughs> Mine is mine is also Too Jameson. Late. Mine's also Jameson. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, I guess my side of the story, uh, of that happening is I actually on, on Friday, uh, the Illinois, uh, fighting a line, I were, were going up against Chattanooga mm-hmm. and Derek messaged me and said, Hey, I'm up at this bar. If you want to you know, come on up and watch the game. And I said, sure. You know, uh, I'm not really doing much and I want to watch basketball anyways. So I went up there and, uh, it was epically like hilarious to watch Derek. get so super pissed at the TV. Oh my God! We're in a public place. He's cussing and he's ripping I'm at point a guards. Bar. Yeah, we're at a bar. Yeah, I get it. I know that, that feeling. There's kids there. Who cares? They're, they're, they're at a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched K State go 0 for 14 on three pointers against Wisconsin one year in the Big Dance. I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it was bad. What was the point guard's name? Cubello. Uh, uh, Andre Corbello. Corbello. Okay. I fucking hate him. He was. I think he ended up with like seven turnovers. That's he what kept, he does. He he was awful. He I kept on telling Derek, this dude is a liability. He forgot the guard part of the point guard? Exactly. Yeah. No, not even the guard. It was just distribution he, to other players on other teams. He so plays, he's a middleman. Yeah. He, he plays 100 miles an hour and is sloppy as fuck. Yeah. And so Derek just couldn't stop dissing this dude, which I thought was hilarious. But it came down to like five minutes left to go in the game. And I think uh, the Illini were down by maybe like six at that point, something like that. And I kept on telling him, like, dude, be positive. It's okay. Be positive. And he just looked at me and he said, if Illinois wins this game, I'm telling everybody on the show, on the podcast, that you are my best friend. I don't remember that. Yeah. I think you're making stuff up. You're trying to take advantage (laughs) of me. Did you roofie me, Scotty? Is that what happened? No. Listen, in times of desperation, we all say stupid things. (laughs) Absolutely. I've made so many promises with God (laughs) over ball games that didn't fucking matter. Yep. Same. Uh, And he has shit on me every fucking time. I think that's why the Cubs stink now, because I was supposed to start going to church in 2017. Yep. That's probably why. Uh, But we forgot. some shitty moves. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, but I did. I did have a really good time at Kobe's with Derek. Uh, I did drink too much. I played golf um, uh, Sunday morning, so obviously drank uh, with our buddy um, and played a game of golf and then uh, took a nap for about an hour and then went to uh, Kobe's with Derek and continued to drink, so I was nice and fuckered up by the end of that night. <clears throat> uh, so there was that. Um, I had water. Yeah, yeah like a say, smart yeah. person would. Mm-hmm. Huh. Um, but last episode, we forgot to remind everybody um, that you're a piece of shit. Hey, guys, uh, <laughs> just so you guys know, Scotty is a piece of shit. And I'm, you. It, can, it doesn't have to be human shit. It can be a combination mm, of shits. Any, any yeah. animal shit. Yeah. Really. Yak. Thanks, guys. Derek sent me a text at one point. Oh, it was fantastic, though. I, th- I thought. Yes. I. It, it, it certainly makes more sense than how I always thought of it. Apparently... Scotty, are you aware of this? No. The hierarchy of the show? Oh, no. <clears throat> Apparently, you guys figured it out. I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you said you and Scotty. No. So, um, yes, apparently, Derek looks at it as, I'm the cock and balls of the show. <laughs> he I is, do remember this. He is the taint, and you are the <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I, exactly right. I'm the perineum. <laughs> yeah. Where, <laughs> where I always thought of it, more in automotive terms. I'm the engine, Derek's the transmission, and you're the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, 
I wanted to re- remind everybody, but we missed it. I uh, wanted to wish everybody a happy March 14th last episode, and I forgot about it. Pine mm. and Stage and Blow. No, Stake and Blow, steak, job, and blow day. job Day. Oh, it's yeah. Also, it, but it's already Pie Day. Yeah. Oh, well. 3.14. Oh. Okay, whatever. It's it's actually Steak and Blow Job Day. I know it's Pie, but who gives a fuck about Pie? Wow. Mathematician. Hang on a fuck minute. Fuck you. <laughs> you fuck see you. the size of me? You, who gives a fuck about pie? Yeah. yeah. You watch your goddamn whore mouth. <laughs> yeah. I love pie. Yeah. I've been eating low carb. I'm actually kind of tired of steak. Yeah. Well, fine. Uh, but I'm last, tired of giving blowjobs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but last thing Gotta is, give hand jobs. He'll teach absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> that means I got to take lessons. No thanks. No, nope. you can just I go to my only hands, my only hands.com. You give some tutorials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Please tell me you do them to upbeat dance music, like those TikTok t- tutorials. Yes. He actually those shuffle uh, tutorials. He yeah. actually taught those kids behind Reggie Miller. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I recognized that form. Yeah. That was the greatest fucking thing. Ever. I that video's to, still got to be somewhere. I tried to find it, and I could not uh, find it. Let me ask you this. Did you try Google? I tried <laughs> I tried to uh, ask Jeeves. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I, I pulled up my Netscape yep. and yeah. got on ask.com. Yeah. It couldn't. Jeeves had no idea what it was. I tried dogpile.com. <laughs> uh, okay. Go to that one. Uh, last but not least, in the middle of the week, uh, last week, we had fucking weather that it's not even in the fucking Bible. We uh, we go home. Pretty sure it's in the Bible. Um, it, Page thirty seven. Uh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go home after work, which is about six o'clock, and it starts uh, starts to rain a little bit, actually storm, and then um, by about middle of the night, the temperature fucking drops, and it's thundering outside. I go outside at about I don't know twelve thirty one o'clock just to see what the fuck's going on, and it's snowing. Uh huh. It's thundering and snowing. And I'm thinking, Jesus, it was like 70, um, you know, yesterday morning. There's no way that this snow is going to stick because it's the ground has still got to be warm, right? Wake up the next morning to six fucking inches in my front yard and on top of my truck. Then by the afternoon, all of that snow was fucking gone, and it was back up to 68 degrees. It was 70 degrees on Saturday. God damn. Fucking crazy. <clears throat> the fact that I'm not sick yeah, is a miracle. I think you're pretty fucking sick, too. Yeah, I think you're way sick, sick, bro. I'm certainly fat with a pH. Yep, that's for sure. But uh, but anyways, yeah, that was was my my week. So, Jeremy. Uh, Well, okay. Let me tell you what happened this last week. Uh, Tuesday, last Tuesday, we get an email from uh, Cox Cable. Mm. They're our our wonderful cable and internet provider, uh, stating that, uh, okay, this is uh, not going to be interesting to anybody, but I need to explain just how fucking stupid this is. They used to have, okay, on the lower channels, they used to have things in standard definition. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you wanted to watch channel 12, you in standard definition, like a poor person, you would just (laughs) type in channel 12. But if you wanted to watch it in high definition, you went to 2012. Uh, things like that. Well, apparently they've done away with the standard definition. And this requires a huge overhaul of the whole system, which they're going to do like little section of town at a time. Uh, we get this email stating they're going to do that in two weeks. Uh, that two days before they do it, we will receive a, a door hanger mm-hmm. reminder notice. And that our television and internet will be down for up to four hours. Door hanger sounds like a penis on a door. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> it's right out the mail slot. I think that's a <laughs> yeah. door hanger. Well, yeah, it's like, okay, you know how you catch a nice fish? They call it a wall hanger. Yeah. If you got a nice cock, they call it a door hanger. Gotcha. A, gotcha. Because I'll, I'll just, if company comes over, I just stick it right through the mail slot. <laughs> I'm sorry the doorbell doesn't work. Can you bang on it with this? <laughs> Scotty just keeps coming over. <laughs> just showing up uninvited. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, I know, I recognize those hands. <laughs> oh, God. So, apparently, Cox got a little anxious and starts this on day one of March Madness for me. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you. Four hours, my fucking ass. <laughs> From the time my wife was up till about 11 o'clock on Thursday night, no cable, no internet. I'm cut off. Oh, oh, oh shit. Fuck. I love the silence. My wife can't have silence. <laughs> Lots of talking to her about whatever she talks about. Um, 
but yeah, so I didn't get to watch the first day of the tournament, and uh, to say I was unhappy, I made I made some nasty phone calls, <laughs> and that's that's the other thing. I went up to the actual Cox store, and. I had to take a fucking number because I was like number 25 in line. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people having this problem. And nobody could give them a straight answer. Because if you call a customer service, there's like, there's no outage in your area. But you go up there, yeah, there's an outage. And this is what they're doing. And everybody had the same fucking story. We got the email. It's two weeks. So uh, that's how my Thursday got kicked off. Um then this weekend, basically, I took advantage of the really nice weather and got a lot of uh, outside work done. Got a, I mowed my lawn already. Oh, I'm already hey. mowing. Oh, you're one of those. Fuck yeah. Regular got Hank Hill over here. Yeah. Diagonal pattern. Uh-huh. Um, Has to have the lines, right? Absolutely. It does. Yeah, it does. My fucking mower stripes like a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, let's see. 23 I, horses, isn't it? Well, this is the push mower. Uh, the one I use on the front. I use uh, the, the a, rider on the back. That's a horse's ass. Yeah, it's uh, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just a hoof. <laughs> <laughs> um, in fact, that's that's the new name of it, the Honda hoof. <laughs> so uh, I'll give you a ham bone for it. Yeah. No, no, sir. <laughs> I need 1250 or nothing. <laughs> so uh, anyway, took care of some shit out in the yard. I, I laminated some shit. My first time ever putting uh, Formica on stuff. <laughs> Went real well. Real good, guys. Real yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. And um, let's see. Oh, I filled my tank up with gas. Anybody want to play guess the price on that? <laughs> uh, your tank? <laughs> yeah. $43. Ha! Nope. Scotty? I'm going to go with $62.50. You're closer. Yeah. $64.80. Woo! Damn. You put I premium mean, in there? Yeah, I am. Uh, me too. <laughs> I didn't think that was premium. In the Volvo? I didn't think so. Yeah, it's turbocharged, so it runs uh, way better with the uh, oh, premium. Gotcha. gotcha. But I had 30 cents off Oh, with my Dylan's what points. Look at this fucking bragging <laughs> yeah. guy. Good so it was Lord. only 409 for nice. a fucking gallon. <laughs> should have just dumped some 409 in there. Yeah. I should have. You should have. Yeah, it's cleaned it out. Combustible. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> they always talk about putting detergents in the gas to really keep, keep your system clean. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's a detergent. We right. call it that. It's a formula. Yeah. How, formula One, baby. Yeah. I got a question for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because Don't I was, we get enough fucking questions on this show? <laughs> no. I thought, I thought so. No. Because Derek, is the floor open to questions? Uh, not at the moment. I, this is it's a, not open to questions it's yet. About, it's about his week. It's not open yet. Point of order! <laughs> <laughs> I, I was stumbling <laughs> across <laughs> Facebook. Hang on. Okay. I yield and my time to Scott. We're open for questions. Okay. Uh, but no, seriously. So I was running through Facebook and sure as shit, Facebook Marketplace popped up and uh, I see you got some uh, some planers out I do. On, on Marketplace. Airplaners? Sweet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yep. yeah I'm, Are they paper I'm airplaners? I'm selling my jets. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a couple of fucking F 16s that I don't even use anymore. <laughs> From I'm, New York or Newman? Yeah, both. both. Oh, but yeah. nice, nice. Um, but anyways, you got any uh, you got any uh, hits on those planers? I haven't had a one. Damn it! And I've got them very reasonably priced yeah, too. Yeah, forty bucks. Ain't bad. Forty at all. bucks for the two. Yeah, and I, I was like, kind of wanting to fuck with you, but you know who I am, so I still love it, it when people are like, twenty really cash. <laughs> No. What do you... That's the only Thir payment I'm taking is 35 cash. check only. <laughs> I only take checks. Yeah. I want 1850 in Spangles gift cards. <laughs> no. Uh, apparently, next month is the uh, Citywide Garage sale, so that will probably get sold there, in which case, everybody always seems to want my fucking tools anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, those are going to sell pretty I'm gonna, just going to send like 10 people over to keep asking you about your table saw. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. How much for that table you, saw? You know what? First person who can carry that fucker away gets it. <laughs> Two fifty. Uh, <laughs> you're short by about a hundred pounds on that fucker. You got to take the whole thing in once by right. yourself. Oh man, I just want another story. I, I want. I want another try it now story. You want me to make some shit up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scotty. It seems there were three bears. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. One day after they'd <laughs> gone for a walk when their porridge was too hot, too cold, I don't know what the fuck a walk's going to do for that. <laughs> the other just right, let's fuck his meal up. A little girl came along. <laughs> and after she'd eaten their porridge and slept in their beds, well, she got scared. 
Did she move with her auntie and uncle to Bel Air? She did. <laughs> she, did. <laughs> she sure did. Knew it. Great. I've heard this one. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, you know what? You want the rest of it? You're going to have to subscribe. I got to, you you hit the paywall. <laughs> All right. Well, we do have an excellent episode, but before we get on to the sports, we've got a uh, sponsor we got to give a shout out to. I don't know if you guys know about these guys. Oh, is, oh, one other yeah. thing. Oh, Speaking of sponsors. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I think last week, you know, I talked about Matt's new business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that I ever actually gave the name yeah, of did. the place. Did I? Yeah, I cryo. Did I? I think so. Okay. Well, iCryo is the name of it. And I forgot to mention this too. If you go in there and you mention that you heard about them on our podcast, they will say, okay. <laughs> so great. Sweet. Sweet. Go ahead and do that. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, we do actually have a sponsor for this uh, this show, and it is Old Spice. No. <laughs> It is, it is definitely... New Spice. <laughs> yeah. Sporty Spice. Right. Uh, Herpy Spice. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, Not to be confused with Herbie Spice. <laughs> yes. He's about 87. Uh, that, is he? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the guy that you got to... That, that That's son- a car, Scotty. <laughs> no. No. Isn't that the guy that you... Is- it's a drunk car. He's fully loaded. Mm-hmm. No, like it's like the nickname for your signature. Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock. Hancock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, no, this show is sponsored. Boy, you went a long way for a joke you didn't know the punchline to. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Anyways, you're a smelly pirate hooker. (laughs) Damn it! I'm just, I'm I'm just gonna sit over here and let you guys just go on. Are are there, are there pirate hookers that don't smell? (laughs) (laughs) They're all fishy in their own way. Depends on the time. Did you ever see that show on on? I think it was on Showtime or Stars or something. It was pirates. Some of those chicks were hot. Why would I subscribe to either one of those, I, Scotty? Because she was, they were hot. You ever seen that show on the movie channel? <laughs> yeah, HBO. Yeah. That's it. All um, right, seriously, though. I we, used to watch that on web TV. <laughs> yeah. I was watching movies for guys who like movies the other night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we got a sponsor, and it is Manscaped.com. They uh, make a whole bunch of products to help you trim your ball hair, your nut hair, uh, you and your asshole hair. That's that's actually really important that we point that out. Why are you out. distinguishing between nut hair and ball hair? Because nut hair is on the front, uh, uh, and then the nut is like... Just keep <laughs> digging that hole, man. Just yeah. keep on going. <laughs> I get the difference between ball hair and butthole hair, but... Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes you, sometimes if you've got a long enough ball hair, it is also a butthole hair. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, you can shave your Jeremy hair, your Derek hair, or your Scotty hair. <laughs> Dick balls, taint, <laughs> yes. asshole. Yes, uh, they've got an excellent product called the Lawnmower 4.0. Oh, yeah, if, that, if you had one of those long ass hairs that stuck in and it just became like a dingleberry, like stuck into a dingleberry on the uh-huh. other side, yeah. that would be like the grossest Prince Albert ever. <laughs> oh, sure, it would. Gross. Uh, but no, but that's actually really important. I'm glad to you grow through. Yeah. No, it would just get stuck on it. It would connect. Oh, I got you. Yeah, okay. you see what I'm saying? But anyway, sure do now. Yeah. Thanks it, for painting a picture. I'm Absolutely. Gl- speaking of painting this Call picture, me Norman Rockwell. <laughs> No, we're going to call you the wreck. (laughs) 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 Only here. Um, But no, it is kind of important that we talk about this because uh, I think it is important. Not only do you get your nuts and you get your shaft, you've got to get your ass. That's a very important thing. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never taken it that far. I probably should. <laughs> yeah, there's a vibrate function, bro. I like my ass hair. That's why I usually just use your electric toothbrush and comb it. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, the thing is, is okay, while I don't see it well, I can still see my dick. I don't want to take something to an area I can't see, and I'll be goddamned if I'm going to fucking one leg up heist it to see in a mirror. Just bend over. All my mirrors are <laughs> chest high. <laughs> oh, I just use the reflection of Scotty's forehead. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you got to get I, up on the on the counter. I'll get a step stool. <laughs> no, you got to get up on the counter, straddle the sink and bend over. That's how you get that's how you figure it out. I'll just get a step stool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, my mirrors actually on my medicine cabinets, they stick out of ways cuz so I mean Asshole will be on here. <laughs> okay, that's good. And I don't need that. Right. It's too hairy. Okay. It's like a squeegee on there. <laughs> well, uh, but the Lawnmower 4.0 is the excellent product that uh, I use and we use to keep that, that area clean. But they also do have other products. They have my favorite, the Weed Whacker. 
Um, they have cologne that Jeremy really, really likes, which is refined. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the, the Weed Whacker is the best, though. I love that thing. They're really wanting us to push that lawnmower, Scotty. That's uh, <laughs> it's kind of their main thing. That's what uh, yeah, they do. That's true, but I mean, I just God, I love that fucking weed whacker. Listen, you got to cave to the sponsors. Okay, they yeah, they pressure true. us really hard, you know, <laughs> really fucking hard. They're always um, up our ass. The fucking man's up our ass. We should have never taken this fucking deal. They're pushing us around, <laughs> pushing their goddamn agenda. <laughs> they're they're shaving ball agenda, right? Uh, but no, they do have other products as well. Um, they have, uh, I know they have uh, the crop cleanser. They've got, they've got all <coughs> kinds of stuff. Uh, go <coughs> and check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code sidelines. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are reading every single commercial for them word for word. And use the ball deodorant too. That's very important. Make your ball smell good. You don't uh-huh. want them to sound like a drunk pirate hook. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I won. Yeah, appreciate manscaped.com. All right. <clears throat> we do got sports to go over, uh, off-season sports mainly. But uh, before we get to that kind of stuff, there's apparently a pretty big tournament going on right now. I with, wouldn't know. With a ba- <laughs> Is it the World Series of Comedy? That's Well, maybe. I think that's that. I think there's that going on in there. Uh, the satellites are going I, on. Oh. <laughs> I bought a hat for it. Yeah? They don't want you to wear those. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Just shorts. Yep. Uh, But no, we've got uh, March Madness going on right now. First week of March Madness is now over. Motherfucker, that was a ride. Yeah. Jeremy wouldn't know. Jeremy didn't know. I heard about it. (laughs) He read about it in the uh, newspaper. Yeah, probably. You probably one of those guys that still get the newspaper, don't you? Okay. Can I tell you something that the guy on the fucking at the the Cox store said? Absolutely. When a guy was like, I'm wanting to watch March Madness and I don't have any cable. He seriously with a straight face. Well, we've got it here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Are you trying to get killed? What, do you want him just to pull up a fucking chair at the Cox office, you dick sucker? They probably would actually get uh, better reviews after all of this if they did, if they just had it playing in he there did. with he a He turned it ch- to the fucking tournament <laughs> off of the Cox channel or whatever, their information channel. He oh. turned it to the fucking game <laughs> so the guy could at least watch it while he was there to bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Here, I got you, bud. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, I, I filled out a couple of brackets. I'm sure you guys probably did, too. How are you doing? Uh, I have 11 left. 11 teams out of the out of 32. Huh? Out of the Sweet 16. Oh, Sweet 16. Sorry. Yeah, That's got, good. I got 11 of those left, and uh, my final is still there. My final four is not, but my final is there. Same. My final four is fucked because of – thanks, Baylor. So uh, Baylor didn't – I got that game right. That's good. Yeah. Uh, but I that's took, a good pick. I took UNC over Baylor. I lost on Auburn – Yep, Auburn and is I lost there. Kentucky, which yeah. I think everybody lost Kentucky. Everybody did. Uh, but there are, uh, I mean, we, we were just kind of talking about it a little bit, but there are some some definite bracket busters. You said North Carolina. I don't even consider that a bracket buster. I, I don't. No, uh, it's that, fucking North Carolina. It's North fucking Carolina. That's a blue blood. That is yeah. no, no surprise whatsoever. Uh, now, Miami beating Auburn. Miami, that's a... Pretty big fucking yeah. upset, uh, but that's still a huge, huge school that's out there. So that was kind of though our favorite to beat KU. Yeah, that was. That gives them a pretty easy path to the Final Four if they I, get that. I far. think Providence beats. KU. I am the you think same so? way. They've done know, it before. I don't know if you remember hearing me say it early or early on in the season, but I was saying Providence is a team you need to probably watch out for. I, I agree. I'm I'm going to sit here and say that I think. KU runs into Providence that and they beat them. They actually do beat them. I hope so. I do too. Um, but the the biggest story out of all of them is the Cinderella is still alive, and that is Saint Peter's. I got that one right. You did get that one. No, I didn't get that. Fuck no, nobody did. Actually, I think like seven hundred and twelve people did as far as the ESPN bracket did. Goes. Yeah, it yeah. did. These are the Peacocks, right? The Peacocks, yeah. man. Uh, our Del our Delaware <coughs> Blue Hens got beat. <coughs> Unfortunately, should have been peacock. Yeah, should have been a peacock. Speaking of blue bloods, what an asshole that Teddy Allen is. Mm-hmm. He's oh piece, he's my piece shit. god! He's I guess I didn't see this. I don't know if you guys heard. I didn't get to watch much of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So he, he, I guess he, they kept him in check most of the game, but at the very he plays for New Mexico State, 
He was supposed to play for Wichita State. He transferred, didn't he? Yep. After Marshall left, or mm-hmm. so he ended up transferring to New Mexico State. Uh, and he, as soon as the turn, or towards the very end, with like ten seconds left, he started fucking getting real arrogant and real cocky. And they were, the announcers were praising the rest for not technical or teeing him up for not giving him a technical. And okay. then as, as he's on his way to his interview after the game. Uh, the con- the UConn players are walking off, and he's just going, bye-bye, Blue Blood, bye-bye, going home, bye, Blue Bloods. And I'm like, wow, what a fucking prick. If he I was, was one doing of those, that to who? To the, the UConn, UConn players. players. Yeah, you I'd have knocked the, the fuck out of him if I was well, one of those guys. While you beat them, you know every one of them is a much better athlete than you, and they could kick the snot out of you if you pissed but, them off. And they are in just a foul enough mood at this point to do it. I they wish got nothing one. to fucking lose at this point. No. What are you going to do, suspend them? Yeah, exactly. I'd love to have seen that happen. I, I'm I'm pretty excited about the St. Peter's team. I, I don't see them going much further than, than wh- where they've already been. They beat Murray State. <clears throat> they beat Kentucky, obviously. Um, but if you've seen, like, the videos of people that actually go to this school, their gym is a joke. Uh, like their their facilities and stuff like that, mm. their dorm rooms are shit. Uh, and I believe this is in New Jersey, if I remember correctly. It's uh, it's a northeastern school. Yeah. Um, but they're uh, they had like a watch party in their in their gym that was fucking sold out for the Murray State game, and it was really fucking cool to see all these people go ape shit. Did they, they just wheel in TVs like in fucking second grade when you <laughs> watch a movie? <laughs> <laughs> no, they had like a projector and shit, so it was just up against the wall. It was pretty neat. I so it was pretty so cool. they didn't they don't even have like a jumbotron or anything in there. Uh, no, nice, no. Uh, but anyways, I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, so who do you got? Who do you think with the teams left over? Who? Uh, who do you think is going to win this bitch? I'm still going with who I picked. I think Gonzaga. Uh, I uh, I am changing my pick. I am changing my you pick. Going St. Peter's? No, no. I'm I'm going to go Arizona at this point. I, mm-hmm. I have seen Gon- I, I have seen Gonzaga play the last two games, and they played down <laughs> to their competition both games in a row. Um, they were getting beat at points of games or, or these games whenever they're going up against a fucking 16 seed at one mm-hmm. point. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So. I don't have as much confidence in them as I thought I did. Maybe they get hot. They they should. They they theoretically should be the number one team in the country, so they should win the national championship. But after the last couple of games I've watched, I'm I'm taking Arizona. Jeremy, yeah, um, I think probably Arizona. T- of course, they got to go through Illinois. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> they don't. No, Houston they does. Don't. Houston has to be uh, has to go through. I mean, to get there, uh, Illinois lost. Illinois lost. Yeah, they lost to Houston. Yeah. And I had cable that day. <laughs> um, I guess I didn't see that game. Yep. Okay. Um, then, yeah, Arizona. Arizona's already had their fucking close call. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a wake-up call for them. I think they probably are the best team in this tournament. Okay. I like it. They were unranked, I believe, when the and season started. I still started. think Illinois has got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to come out of the back with a fucking chair. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to fucking KO somebody. Did, did oh, they, my God, he broke them in half. <laughs> now, they they won the money in the bank tournament, right? I yeah. believe they, they did. They come yeah. cash yeah. that in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. They're going to mania. Right. Absolutely. Um, but next, while we're on college basketball, they did announce the new head coach for the K-State Wildcats for the men's basketball team. Uh, his name is Jerome Tang. Uh-huh. Jeremy, who finally the, getting some Tang. Yes, Damn you right. are, bro. Look, I'm a big astronaut fan. Who, they who, drank Tang. Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, they call him Poon. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's his Indian name. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but no, seriously, who is this guy? He is a shitty artificial orange-flavored drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. No, I don't really know much about him. I, I was going to say, he's, this guy came out of nowhere. He's he Baylor's assistant, and I believe he was one of the top uh, can- coaching candidates. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. He's been with Baylor for, like, t- fucking years. Like, dec- over a decade. Wow. I mean, that would be great. Generally, it's your your top assistant who does most of the recruiting. Yeah. So, if he can do for K-State what he did for Baylor in that area, wonderful. Yippee. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that turns out. Now we get to move on to baseball, and God damn it, it's so tough to say this, but Freddie Freeman, he's a Dodger. Mm-hmm. God damn it. I got Wait that a minute, did right. you say baseball? Baseball. Throwing out the first pitch! <laughs> <laughs> yes! That was bad form, guys. That, that's, that's okay. You almost, that's on me. That's on me. That's all right. You almost, uh, you almost made it there, buddy. I hit a vendor. Yeah. 
Um, it's weird that we have vendors here in the studio now. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, but, yeah, what do you think? Freddie Freeman to the Dodgers. Do the Dodgers win the World Series this year? Well, they should be favorites every year. Good mm-hmm. God. Just I'm sick and tired of them. They're the, they're the old Yankees. They are the old Yankees. When the Yankees just started buying World Series or trying to buy it. They only bought one. They yep. tried to buy a bunch of them. Yep. But ugh, it just sucks. I love Freddie Freeman, but I hate the fucking Dodgers. I just can't root for him anymore. Uh, but that was one of the big ones. Uh, Trevor Story to the Red Sox. That mm-hmm. was another big one. Uh, but Carlos Correa to the Twins. What do you think about yeah. that? I think that's that's like a, a shocker. But he's it's really kind of a one year deal. Yeah, I it's know. a three year deal. But he's got an opt out after one year. Yeah, that is uh, here in Wichita. We have a minor minor league team. It's a Minnesota Twins affiliate. Uh, they are Double A. Uh, but I really hope that uh, Carlos Correa gets hurt so bad that they send him down to Double A so I can go to the games and boo his ass. That's what I want. Chris uh, Bryant's a Rocky. Yeah, Chris Bryant is a Rocky. That's, uh, that's Kyle good. Kyle Schwarber is a Philly, and Anthony Rizzo re-upped with the Yankees. Yep, yep. That's, uh, yeah, fun times. But we got baseball. Uh, Chris the, Bryant is a Rocky just for like a long make, time. It does, yeah, it's a seven-year deal. It doesn't make sense mm? because they trade – they. Trevor Story wanted out of there. Yeah. And was pissed he didn't get traded at the deadline. They're not putting any money into the team. And then all of a sudden they signed Chris Bryant to a seven year, $180 million deal. Jeez. He could go there and hit 40 home runs a year. Oh, he sure he, can. Easily. He yeah. absolutely could. It's just the, for, on the Rocky standpoint, if that, that came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, I think that was the weirdest one out of all of them that yeah. I saw. What kind of a deal? Seven year, what? 183, I think. Over the term of seven years? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That seems low. They thought he was originally, they thought he was going to be a $300 million player. I think the Cubs offered him two. And I know the Cubs offered more than what Rizzo got. So, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of sad, but uh, but that is what it is. But not only were there moves in Major League Baseball, Jesus Christ, the NFL is going crazy now. Um, after um, basically – Everything initially with uh, with baseball started going crazy. All of a sudden, now today there are so many fucking moves going on. Uh, you've got Amar, Amari Cooper to the Browns since the last episode, which I thought was kind of interesting. I didn't know about this, but I guess this happened last year during the playoffs. There was a confrontation between Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott. Did you hear about that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so funny. He called him the Black Kirk Cousins. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty fucking accurate, in my opinion. No, I'd take Dak over Kirk any I, day. Uh, I probably would too, but. And it's not even close. Consistency. He's. I, I, he's I think not. he meant it as an insult, guys. Yeah. <laughs> like when we call Scotty a dick face, he doesn't actually have a dick for a face. I might. I don't know. Look at that schnoz. Yeah. Look I at mean. It. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind, guys. I retract my. Here, let, me, <laughs> let me put my balls on his forehead. And you tell me if it looks like the resemblance. Just because it looks like one doesn't mean it's actually one. It's not oh. a functioning penis. Much like his regular penis, it doesn't work for anything. Right. Uh, but the other big uh, roster moves, you have uh, Juju Smith-Schuster to the Chiefs. Okay. That's a that's a Jeremy team. So what do you think, Jeremy? They ain't my team this year. No? Nope. Andy Reid? As long as he's there. Nope. <laughs> okay, fine. Andy Reid. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy hates Andy Reid. He I hates Andy Reid. I fucking despise Andy <laughs> Reid. He is the shittiest coach <laughs> you could ever have in this situation. The guy who loses the big fucking games. Yeah. All right. When you have the fucking horses to win games and you lose them, right. fuck you. Didn't he, didn't he win a Super Bowl like two years ago? He didn't. His he tried to fucking <laughs> lose it. He had a quarterback who wouldn't allow it. Yeah. Uh, then you have uh, this happened today. This is uh, Matt Ryan to the Colts. I don't know what I think about this fucking move. It's an upgrade, but it's not. I don't think it's a huge upgrade. I don't either. I don't know. But like, here's the thing. Do you think that Matt Ryan's going to be better in Indianapolis than he was the last three years at uh, in Atlanta? I think he's going to be a placeholder until they can find somebody to draft. I, I agree. I think this. I mean, I, I don't know if it's a one year deal. I, I have no idea, but. I it I know, should. I know Atlanta's paying. I think forty million of that salary or something. Atlanta's Jesus. paying a shitload. I just I for a third round pick. Yeah, for a third third round pick of this year's draft. I think <clears> that's <throat> absolutely ridiculous. Now, as long as he is on a different roster, even though they're paying it, it doesn't come off the salary. Cap, correct. Correct. Mm-hmm. So that's. I mean, that's a big fucking yeah cap room. I just I don't know because I think that the Colts have have a much better offensive line. 
and you're going to be able to get a lot of people away from Matt Ryan because he's not very mobile, but neither was Carson Wentz, I guess. But you've got Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, so. they're going to rely heavily on the running game, exactly. which is going to open up the passing game. Yeah, because he had no fucking running game. Yeah. He hasn't for a while. Really? I mean, Cordell Patterson? I mean, no. he wasn't bad. No. I think he was okay. Uh, but whenever that move Who happened. the fuck was the last good running back, the Falcon? Devonta Freeman Devante that Freeman. one year? Yeah, yeah that one year. Um, but, uh, after that trade happened, obviously Atlanta's looking for a quarterback. So they go to the backup quarterback to Derek Carr, Marcus Mariota. That is going to be the starting quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. As of right now. As of yeah, right now. He, he ain't gonna. So ugh, I don't, I don't like that one at all either. The, the fact that he's actually <clears throat> still a backup. I'm not sure that he's good enough to be the second stringer. Maybe you, you may be right. Um, Devonte Adams to the Raiders. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Aaron Rodgers. I love that one. Oh, I love it. I'm I'm loving all the memes too. There's always there's like memes of uh, Aaron Rodgers. Look like he's getting ready to throw a pass, and he goes, "Hey, Devonte, go long." And then underneath it's a picture of an airplane that yeah. says, "All right, <laughs> see ya. Fuck you." And supposedly he knew about this well before he signed that that big fucking contract. Yeah, yeah he knew so he was leave. fine with it. Yep. Uh, Which I always thought they got along. Yeah. Uh, made me laugh so hard. I was a Green Bay fan. I asked. I said, well, Adams is gone. Oh, we don't need him. We got Lazard. <laughs> I just started laughing my ass off. Uh, that would be a pretty good uh, fantasy pickup there for you. That may be a, a sneaky one, though. Lazard? Lazard, yeah. No. I'm telling you. He, he's going to he, get targeted. He's all I got. Yeah, exactly. Um, but here's fun fun fact. Uh, Antonio Brown tweeted out, Cleveland Antonio Brown, C-A-B, because Cleveland ended up picking up Deshaun Watson. I don't like it. What what does that mean? Like he wants to be a Brown. He wants to play for the Browns. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. Uh, just bringing Deshaun Watson in, you're going to have to wade through a, a sea of – Sign holding picketers. Mm-hmm. This is going to bring a lot of off the field distraction that you don't want. The last thing you need is another fucking distracting asshole. Oh yeah, on his team that would that would implode the the locker room in Cleveland. Yeah, I I a hundred percent agree. And here's the other thing, Brown not, Brown's never playing again. No, I don't think, I don't so. think so either. Um, but you still have Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield even requested a trade and even made a statement after requesting that trade and saying it's you know it's a mutual thing. It's good for you know the organization. It's good for me. That's what we're gonna do. And then like an hour and a half later, they sent out a retweet and said, "No, we didn't. Nope, we are not accepting your trade request. You're staying here." So what's gonna be the situation? I mean, it's it's in real shit of horseshit. But Deshaun Watson. It's very questionable that he is going to even be a starting player for Cleveland, depending on how this oh, shit's starting. off. Well, I don't know if there's going to be any penalties distributed by the NFL, because even though there are no criminal charges going against him, there will be civil cases, it sounds like. And that's what Jeremy's talking about with off the field, uh, you know, distractions and shit. I don't know what's going to happen. Know, I don't know how you can suspend him if there's no criminal charges. Yeah, if the police investigation turned up nothing, they would be in a world of hurt if they tried to punish him because he can always point to that and he can say, you know, racial discrimination or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, I've already had all these investigations done into me and they found nothing. So, yeah, the the civil suits. He's probably going to settle those out of court, so no evidence will actually come to the light of day and, and get it behind him. And yep. yeah, but sitting out for a year. I mean, I'll be honest with you. While he's got a boatload of talent, his last couple of years in Houston sure as fuck didn't impress me. I didn't think they were very especially good. without Hopkins. Yeah, I didn't I mean, think he looked very good at all. And I don't know what he's going to have to work with look in at, Cleveland. I look mean, at Kyler Murray without Hopkins. He didn't yeah. look very fucking impressive either. No. That's a good point. <clears throat> So, I mean, I don't know necessarily that he's – he might be the better long-term option yeah. at quarterback, but I don't know that he's going to just step in right away and take the starting role. Not to mention he's had an entire year, entire season off. Uh, nope. Not to mention that I already fucking mentioned that uh, right off you? the bat, Scotty. God yeah. damn, you're the host. Listen! My bad. I wasn't paying attention to Good. you. Good. <laughs> if you <laughs> want to kick his ass, I can move. <laughs> I wouldn't ask you to do that, dude. No. I do want to kick his ass, but not for that. <laughs> That's way at the back of the list. Yeah. 
Uh, the last thing we talked last year, last week about how uh, there was a person who ended up purchasing uh, Tom Brady's football, uh -huh. his last touchdown or his quote unquote last uh, touchdown for half a million dollars. Well, uh, Tom Brady made an offer, a Bitcoin offer to that fan. Mm -hmm. One Bitcoin. That's about 40 grand. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's for like, the ball or just. No, I'll give you a Bitcoin. Initially, he actually sent out a uh, like got a hold of some TFX, which I don't know who the fuck it is, but uh, said, "Hey, let's make a donation in this guy's name to some charity." Oh, that's gonna help. Yeah, that's like, gonna ease his fucking pain to yeah. know that people have Thanks. been fed. <laughs> like, fuck out of half a mil for a fucking wordless ball. Yeah, uh, but what I don't know, I don't know how it will work out, but I'm kind of hoping that whatever his last touchdown in this season they make like an exchange i think that's probably the only way that's going to get that's going to be brady's ball maybe that's what if that's why brady came how, back maybe, maybe. Like, how, you know what i didn't even get my last fucking touchdown ball <laughs> how Fuck how you. is that not brady's ball how how is know. there not just a standing order that whoever catches a touchdown pass hang on to that fucking ball and bring it to the sideline yeah i don't know I have no idea. I mean, Brady, especially after the Mike Evans thing. <laughs> yeah, I believe when a player keeps a game ball, they do have to pay like a hundred bucks. Oh, Maybe Brady didn't have the cash on him. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe not. They're like, do you take Bitcoin? <laughs> he should have signed one of those Aaron Rodgers contracts. Then he'd have had the money. Yeah, exactly. I'm a little worried about this with him offering this. Uh, is Bitcoin about to crash? I don't know. <laughs> He's done that to he like seems multiple to, people. He seems to have the inside track on things. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that is the uh, sports. Now we're going to get on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, yeah, we're going to say some statements if we think they are real shit or horse shit. It's pretty self-explanatory. First one, Gonzaga will not win the NCAA championship this year. I'm going to say horse shit because I have them in my bracket. <laughs> I've got them in mind too, but I'm saying this is horse shit. Uh, again, just reiterating, I was not impressed their last couple of games. Jeremy? So it's real shit. Uh, did I say horseshit? Yes, you said horseshit. I meant real shit. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, I don't they even know will what's not. real anymore. No, Gonzaga will not win this year's national championship. This is absolutely real shit, and I have no reason to back that up. <laughs> Fine. Uh, next one, real shit or horseshit. With Matt Ryan as their starting quarterback, the Colts will make the playoffs next season. I'm going to say real shit. What? Yes, uh, the expanse, the expanded playoffs, oh. you can get in at nine and eight. Oh. I, I I think that that's Carson. They were a fucking win away with Wentz, and he's an upgrade over Wentz. Yeah. Okay. So and you still got Jonathan Taylor. So I'm gonna say real shit. They're, yeah. They'll make the playoffs. I, I'm I'm gonna say horse shit. I, I I have been impressed with Matt Ryan over the last, you know, like I said, three years. So I don't I don't think he turns that uh, organization to into a playoff contender. Jeremy. They already are a playoff contender. That's not really. kind of Derek's point. They were one win away from it. But they didn't make it. In a game that they should have. Yeah, the Jacksonville. Fuck. Yeah, that that was such a fucking fluke thing. I mean, everybody had them in the fucking playoffs. They were like 98% to make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, and it's so, yeah, I don't know if it's really a step up or a step down talent-wise, but I think Matt Ryan is a much better leader. Yeah. Than uh, than Carson Wentz was, so I think you go up in that standpoint. Was it you that were, were we talking about this last show, or somebody told me that Gar uh, they've heard Carson Wentz is just a fucking dick? Yeah. Uh, well, he's like I, super I, religious. I've, I've yeah, heard that he's like a super religious nutbag that like watches over everybody and monitors what they say and shit, and mm. doesn't allow cursing and stuff in the locker room. And well, fuck that shit. But exactly. <laughs> we should have him on the show. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Make him really uncomfortable. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit, the AFC West is the best division in the NFL. Oh, horse shit. It's the NFC East. Yeah. What? Without a doubt, dude. What? Oh, yeah. I'm out. I'm saying the NFC West, or I'm sorry, the AFC West is the best league in the, in the or division in the NFL. Fuck, commanders all the way, dude. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Super Bowl bound. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Setting the world on fire. <laughs> I think this is real shit. How about you, Derek? I just told you. <laughs> what do you really think? Uh, the NFC least is the least no. is the worst fucking division in football. I think the NFC West is probably the best division in football. Okay, I, I mean, and, that, and that'd be a close second for me. And well, and, no, but but then because again, I'd take the Raiders over the Seahawks. So yeah, I guess it's real shit. Okay, all right, Jeremy. I think it's probably true. I mean, you got Kansas City will be 
good this year. You know, you got Russell Wilson out of Denver. You got the big defensive upgrade in in uh, Khalil Mack. Yeah, Khalil Mack when in uh, not San Francisco or not San Diego anymore. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, Chargers. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, Amari Cooper to the Raiders again because he was so stellar there before. Yeah. But I mean, him and him and Carr know each other. And Devontae Adams is the. Raiders. You mean Devontae Adams is the Raiders? Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper is the Browns. Browns. Yeah. Yeah. Devon- are they? They're not going to the AFC West this year, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. Maybe on a road game or two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then I'm taking the Browns. <laughs> Real shit. Uh, I I think the only team that and I, they're not even that big of a snub, but I just I don't have the the confidence in Derek Carr. I, I mean, I think that's what what the Raiders are missing in order to become a like a top tier team. He's not a bad quarterback, no, he but he a, is by far the worst in that division. Yeah, he had a pretty decent year. I still am not a fan. Uh, it's because of his first name, and yeah, exactly. Fucking too good. Bitch. <laughs> his name is too good. Yeah. Uh, next one, real shitter horse shit. Baker Mayfield, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. I'm uh, allergic to you. Th- yeah. You should kill yourself. I'll no, feel better. Nope. Uh, real shit or horse shit. Baker Mayfield will not be a starting quarterback this season. Uh, that's real shit. Yeah, I think so. I think he's probably. Uh, I think he's going to stay. Uh, he may stay in Cleveland. I think that's the smartest. If he doesn't thing move to by do. draft by the draft, he, he he ain't going nowhere. No, he ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Uh, I agree. <laughs> I, I think uh, he will not be a starting quarterback this season. I think it's real shit. Uh, it would be stupid for for Cleveland in all seriousness with with everything that's going on with Deshaun to not have a great backup quarterback. The question is, if if Baker could go anywhere, where the fuck would he go? Pittsburgh? With the butcher and the candlestick maker? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I mean I, Pittsburgh. They've got their fucking starter set. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mitch Trubisky, baby. Yeah. Dwayne Haskins. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. No. But that that, that would be the place I would try to if he goes get anywhere, him to go. But. I mean, the only one that's left it really is Carolina. Yeah, but they've got Darnold. And they and Seattle. Seattle, yeah, maybe, but yeah, Has I don't. Seattle picked up a quarterback. No, just Drew no. Locke. Drew fucking Locke. So that's and I and I wouldn't let him run my team. You're There's gonna no. be looking at one of Kenny Pickett's gonna be probably in one of those teams. I've heard Carolina's looking at him pretty hard. Yeah, with the widest name ever, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Kenny Pickett. Yeah, or Stetson Bennett the fourth or whatever. That's a pretty honky name. Yep. How about you, Jeremy? What do you think? What's the question? Uh, Baker Mayfield will not be a starting quarterback next season. I think he will start the season as the starter, and I don't think that he will finish the season as a starter. Okay. Uh, last one, real shitter horse shit. With Devontae Adams in Las Vegas, the Packers will not win their division this season. That's I hate to say it, but it's horse shit. Oh, no. The, that's the probably the worst division in fucking football. Ah. You've got my shitty team. Oh, come on, man. You, you have just, the yeah. Lions who are shitty. The Lions are going to win it. And then you have Minnesota, who is middle of the road. Yeah, there's, and then Green Bay plays all those teams twice. That's six wins. <laughs> right there. I'm going to say this real shit. I'm going to say this real shit. I'm betting that Aaron Rodgers does not have as good of a season as he's been having uh, because he doesn't have any tools to throw to. I'm sure he's going he's gonna to light up a couple of wide receivers. There may be some new rookies that come in that he becomes you know fond of, but... I, I don't think so. I think this is real shit. I don't think. I think the uh, Minnesota Vikings win that this division this year. How about you, Jeremy? I think it's horseshit. I think they're still going to win it. I'm all by myself. All by myself. Yeah, they're going to lose in the NFC Championship. That's what they do. That is what they do. Except last year. I think they lost in the divisional round. Uh, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. That was so great. All right. Well, that is that, sports. That got four. me rock hard. Yeah. I'm glad it did. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that is uh, this sports for this week. Um, now we get to have a little bit of fun. We get to have my favorite uh, part of every single episode and your favorite part of every single episode, it seems or, uh, it seems like. Keep laughing, assholes. Nope, nope. Keep them on, bitch. Um, but no, we get to – we started this, uh, this new segment called Bad Advice with Jeremy. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, but anyways, me. you guys you tricked me. You son I of a did. Bitch. I did. Uh, but anyways, if you have any question that you would like to ask Jeremy for his advice, you can send him to us at Instagram uh, slash or at Laughing on the Sidelines and uh, TikTok as well. But uh, uh, Instagram is better. Uh, Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines. And that's where this one came from. Uh, this is from Caleb Vestal. 
And he writes, Dear Jeremy, I work at a janitorial store and have this really annoying co-worker that just won't stop talking. He doesn't work, uh, and all he talks about is his bearded dragon lizard that literally nobody gives a shit about. I can't just come out and yell at him, so what are some ways I can politely get him to shut the fuck up? Well, first off, congrats on scoring such a cherry gig. <laughs> At a janitorial supply store. You didn't quite get the job as the janitor, but you got the job as the guy who sells the janitor his shit. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Second. Okay. I know a little bit about bearded dragons. They're a desert dwelling lizard. Um, that's about all I know. I know they'll, they'll eat crickets. Yeah. I worked in a pet store. So anyways... Um, Yes, I, I agree that a guy who only wants to talk about his bearded dragon comes off as being a little bit crazy. Here's how you deal with that. You've got to show him that he doesn't know what fucking crazy is. <laughs> you got to go so over the top. Scotty, I want to I want to give an example here. <laughs> okay. I want you to start telling me about your bearded dragon. Uh, this is James. He's my bearded dragon. He loves uh, eating crickets. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> No, I don't want to. Tell me more about that dragon. No. You have got to get so turned on <laughs> by everything bearded dragon. I mean, you got to make bearded dragons your fucking life. Get bearded dragon jerseys. <laughs> get get a t-shirt with a picture of a bearded dragon. Bring in dildos <laughs> and ask him different sized ones and sh have him show you. How big is he now? <laughs> Commit. Get a tattoo. I know a guy who's got a whole drawer full of them from last week. <laughs> But you just got to get so sexually turned on. And if if I may be so bold, I'm, they're pretty easy to get rid of. Buy a bearded dragon. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> just basically make this guy so uncomfortable that he will never, ever bring up bearded dragons again. And that way, that helps you out. You don't have to hear about it. And it helps him out because now he can get back to his sweet career of selling sawdust that soaks up vomit and glass cleaner and whatever the fuck else it is you people sell. And by, by you people, I mean janitor salesman. That's not a racial thing. But uh, yeah, that's, that's my best advice. Awesome. Yeah, get a tattoo like Derek said. <laughs> Maybe he should run this, this segment for a while. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, thank you very much for the question there, Caleb. We really do appreciate that. Again, if you uh, need some advice, send it to our Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. I, I want so bad in the next two weeks to get a letter. I work with this guy who seems to really want to fuck my bearded dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be fucking great. Yeah, it would. Yep. Uh, now he'll make a fake profile and make it happen. Probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, this is... Uh, can, can I just take this opportunity to reiterate to people? Details. <laughs> I need fucking details. Yeah. What's the best way to get over breaking up with a girl? Jump off a fucking cliff. You won't feel the fucking pain anymore, douchebag. <laughs> yeah, more details. Uh, apparently he likes, he likes those more. All Chances right. are she broke up with you because you're fucking worthless in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next uh, next segment we got to get on to is overrated or underrated. So we take random things and let you know whether we think they're either overrated or underrated. Pretty self-explanatory. I, uh, I don't need to be, keep on explaining these goddamn things. All right. First one is actually a, uh, a suggestion from a fan. This is at Unfiltered Perspective. He wants to know overrated or underrated movies with subtitles overrated if i want to read i'll get a book <laughs> for fuck's sakes oh uh, oh yeah what about the ones that like it's a foreign language and, and like the all uh, subtitled <laughs> movies are i don't fucking watch them with captions on my wife watches english-speaking tv shows with closed captions on leave her 
Oh, fuck. Right fucking now. Drives Let's get your shit. Come on. Yep. Drives We're moving in with Jeremy. Fucking <laughs> oh, nuts. Oh, you're not going to want that. <laughs> His wife speaks in subtitles. <laughs> oh, it's overrated. I, it drives me nuts. Absolute nuts. Because when I want to go watch something, that shit's turned on, and I can't figure out how to turn it the fuck off. Overrated. How about you, Jeremy? As a 45-year-old man who's worked in a noisy factory most of his life, um, I have to read my fucking movies as it is. I have to, both my wife and I can't hear a fucking thing, so we have the, the subtitles on anyway. I actually just watched a couple of movies. Uh, you know the girl with the dragon tattoo? Yeah, I've heard the of it. The bearded dragon tattoo. Bearded dragon. The bearded dragon tattoo. <laughs> the girl with the bearded dragon tattoo. Right. Yeah. I guess... Nah, Caleb is a guy. That wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's 2022, man. Yeah. Sure. I mean, Caleb, if that guy's you, <laughs> wow, you've done some weird shit. You don't need my fucking advice. You know how to handle assholes. Uh, but no, I actually watched it. It was in Swedish, I think. Yeah. And uh, was it the Muppet? The meatball guy? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's why I watched it, so he could throw his fucking, his, his fucking spatulas and shit behind him. Looking for the dirty deep port port. Okay, fine. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's the funniest one. Oh, shit. All what right. Have. Come on, Scott. Yeah, I know. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Child beauty pageants. Overrated. Four words. <laughs> Most awkward boner ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's so terrible. Oh. oh, it's overrated as fuck. This is child abuse. <laughs> this is terrible for these fucking kids. It's awful. This is overrated. Jeremy. You went that route, huh? Yeah. I think it's overrated, too. I just want to grab him and be like, you're not that hot. <laughs> you're you don't a, know how to fucking dance. This is how you do it. You're an L.A. 6. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could stand to lose a few. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I just think it's awful. Yes, it's awful. It's horrible. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what you want to teach your five-year-old that... Uh, only superficial shit matters. Right. You should be judged on your looks from a very early age. <laughs> yeah. All I right. feel like I was because I was never fucked as a kid. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, right. I did everything. I'd show my ass crack. <laughs> Spread them apart. I wore thongs, the shoes, and the, the swimsuit. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'd wear a bikini. Spread them apart and sure. let them stare down Satan's alley. Yeah, it turns out it's so fucking hairy because I don't get back there with my manscape. <laughs> right. <laughs> Gotta brush it with Scotty's toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I should do. All right. Next one. Over I go home. No. Oh. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Swimming. Uh I'm gonna go overrated as well on this one. Yeah. Uh I did it once for exercise and I could feel myself fucking sweating in the water. <laughs> That's not you know what's underrated? Sitting there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just sitting in the fucking pool. Yeah. Swimming. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, um, I think it's overrated completely. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't like getting like jumping in. I don't like taking baths. I don't like swimming. Well, in we pools. know you don't like taking baths. We can smell them fucking wrists. <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, but no, I just you need to give those things a soak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh, you should make an only hands video. Calgon. With you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no sure. wrists. You can't get wrists involved. Only hands, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Is that in the you, user agreement? It sure is. Yeah. You you get the metacarpals in there? No. <laughs> no, sir. It's carpals, phalanges, and that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I, I'm going to say o overrated. I, I don't mind going right, in. Do I have that backwards? Is it the metacarpals that are in the hand? Yes, it's the metacarp metacarpals are in the hand. And the yeah. perineum. Yeah. Or perineum or whatever. Perineum. Yeah. Are they? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because you always have your hand on and, your tank. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and the eardrum. The eardrum's there, too. Sure it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, this is. You always got your head up your ass. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, but no, swimming is overrated. Even standing in a pool is overrated. Jeremy, this is very circumstantial for me. If I'm drowning, underrated. <laughs> it's the first thing that I want to do. 
Any other time, I don't like to be unnecessarily wet. <laughs> that's, that's mine. I, you you don't get a fat guy wet and then have him walk around. Yep. That is a good way for thigh <laughs> chapping. Yep. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Nipple rings. Ooh. Derek knows a little something about this this weekend. I saw his Facebook post. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go uh, overrated on those. Really? However, nipple ring pops, very underrated. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are those? They're little suckers. That, that, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah very ring underrated. pops that yeah. look like nipples. Yeah. They look, yeah, they look like gigantic nipples. <laughs> That's and pepperoni size. And they're delicious. Yeah, they're yeah. excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I don't know. I, I've never dated a chick with nipple rings before. I don't know. Would you want to pull on them? Do you, think I, you, do you think you get nipple ringworm? Maybe it's possible. I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm I, I'm gonna go rated. I don't care. Uh, I don't think they're overrated, but I definitely don't think they're underrated. Oh, they're okay, Jeremy. Oh, they're they're underrated. I I love mine. <laughs> <laughs> get it at home with a Brad nailer. <laughs> <laughs> You want to be careful how you back that up, though. I couldn't get away from the table for like an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Fun fact, my brother has has a nipple ring. And over time with those rings, your nipple gets longer mm-hmm. because of that. So I, uh, uh-huh. I'm i changing my answer. I'm going overrated. I don't. I think you'd, you'd look kind of weird. I got my door knockers and my door hanger. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <clears throat> okay, last one. Overrated or underrated, going down on a girl. You know, underrated. Really? Absolutely. Okay. It's like my favorite hobby. Oh yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I do that for me. (laughs) Fuck her. That's for me. (laughs) One hundred percent underrated. I love it. I'm. I agree with Derek. That is totally for me. I. I, It's for you. It's for us. I'm fat. I clean my plate. That's right. Absolutely. Uh oh! What if it's what if it's furry? Okay. Yep. Don't care. I can floss. Dive right in, motherfuckers. Jeremy, underrated. This is how I mask how sexually inadequate I am <laughs> in every other way. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I even wrote down all of the all of the the slang terms for it. Not all I, of them. Uh, not all of them. Munching carpet, tossing the Greek salad, eating clam, wearing the bib, cave diving. Dining at the American Pink Taco Stand, performing the Hungarian Free Kick. Never heard of that last one. Yodeling in the gully? <laughs> no, I didn't know mm. that. No. All right. All right. Well, that is overrated and, uh, oh, and underrated for this week. Again, How if you, in the hell is it that we did a whole thing about eating pussy there, and you managed to bring the show down? So <laughs> the energy is dead in the fucking room. I'm a dead weight. Yeah, you are? Yeah. I've been telling you that for fucking almost three, three and a half years. Three yeah. years, yeah. Uh, but anyways, that Which, is over. By your count, is about four hundred episodes, right? Four hundred, yeah, close. Uh, but this is a, uh, that was overrated, underrated. Thank you so much. If you have any suggestions, uh, just like for this next segment, you can send them to us at Instagram uh, at Laughing on Sidelines. Questions and preguntas. Uh, feel free to keep them to yourself. Yeah, some of them for sure. Uh, but questions and preguntas. This is Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. Uh, question number one: Times it would be nice to have the ability to be beamed up. Beamed up. Beamed up. They like Star Trek. Like what happens? Like beam me up, Scotty. What do they do? You you just kind of You can just instantly be transported somewhere else. Oh, yeah. the perfect place for that's at a goddamn Star Trek convention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anywhere better to get the fuck out of <laughs> than there. I don't know, man. You fucking nerds. <laughs> I I You would... ever nailed any Vulcan puss? <laughs> <laughs> VP? No. Mm. I don't know what that you is. You have no idea what it's like till you've gone down on a Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love those conventions. I want to go. I've never been. Then how do you know you love them? Not the Star Trek ones, but I want to go. What is it called? It's like like toys and 90s Comic-Con? nostalgia. Comic-Con. Thank you. I would love to go to one of those places. I don't think you would. I'm pretty sure you would get your ass kicked. <laughs> they would look at you and go, look at that fucking dork. I'm wearing 90s nostalgia right now. I'm wearing the, the jersey from D2, even. It even says Hendrix on the arm. Yeah. Would you buy the whole goddamn team, you great. fucking loser? No, just Charlie Conway. 
That's it. That's, you're creepy. Just the two. You're, I'm getting a real creeped out vibe mm-hmm. here. Oh, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, when you open the door and you, and you got Jehovah Witnesses standing there. That's mine. That'd be okay. a great time. All Jer- right. Jeremy? When you get hired at a janitorial supply <laughs> store. <laughs> Hell yes. All right. Next question. Something people do at work that drives you fucking crazy. There, go ahead. Me? Do you want me to go? I'll go. Okay. Uh, Be autistic. (laughs) That poor girl. That chick I work with, man. She drives me fucking nuts. Uh, Numbers and shit. (laughs) Shiny objects. And impaired motor skills <laughs> poor girl and shitty attitude <laughs> uh but at least she's smart right i didn't say that <laughs> okay. she's a whiz at math <laughs> yeah she's a, she got the shitty parts of rain man <laughs> she, <laughs> that sucks yeah she's not good at math but she got the other stuff uh-oh uh-huh. that yeah squeeze and pull to hurt my neck in 1988 <laughs> <laughs> we just watched that the other night i love that movie that's a great movie uh, I, I'm going to go with this. I, I, uh, I am a service advisor for a dealership. So I'm the guy that you call whenever you need to have your car worked on. And the thing that drives me absolutely fucking crazy is when I'm trying to get information about what's wrong with your fucking vehicle and people are telling me information that has absolutely nothing to do with it. So whenever they're saying something's wrong with their car, they start they start talking and like telling me this fucking story. Well, I was going to the grocery store, went inside, and then while I was there, I remember that the cashier was telling me that, you know, this coupon is expired and yada yada. Like, I don't give a fuck, lady. You need to just get what the fuck is wrong with the goddamn car. That's what drives me absolutely crazy. And then she said, it's a Ford. <laughs> no, it, it, was a, it was a Prius. Uh, Jeremy, how about you? They exist. <laughs> you want to be by yourself. I certainly do. <clears throat> I'm actually working with a fairly cool guy before, but I have been teamed up with some... Uh, okay, can I tell you about this guy? Abs- absolutely. Guy is, I'll, I'll give his fucking first name. I don't remember his last name. His name was Sean. And this guy was the real-life epitome of of donnie baker (laughs) oh yeah he was in fact he's the first thing he ever said to me when he started working with me and i was training him uh was a line that we've applied to you actually scotty Uh, you know i just do this to pay the bills i think of myself as a musician first (laughs) guys in two fucking bands i don't know that they know that he's in the band (laughs) he plays drum and guitar so you know he's he's very versatile um, but he is just a walking encyclopedia of incorrect information. <laughs> um, and just wants to, he, he's one of these guys. He thinks he knows that, that you're thinking the same thing that he does. So he will start talking in mid sentence. <laughs> what the fuck? Just walk up to you, man. He's going to do it. <laughs> Who? My brother, man. He's selling his truck. <laughs> Was I supposed to know? <laughs> I don't want to know you, let alone your brother and his fucking truck. Is it a Ford um, Ranger? Uh, no, Chevy S10. Actually. Oh, it was a Chevy S10. Um, right. But uh, no, um, he used to start off sentences this way. Hey, man, you want to know an interesting fact? To which I learned fairly quick to say no. Um, because the first time that I said, okay, uh, he started off with, you know how black guys don't like being called the N-word? <laughs> oh, my God. What the I'm fuck? censoring myself, by the way. Oh, oh my God. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He actually said it. And I guess say what you want, but if you're talking to me, that makes me guilty by association. <laughs> I, I told him that. Just don't fucking talk to me from... Well, actually, the next time he said, hey, man, you want to know an interesting fact? I just go, no. <laughs> I. He just looks at me and I go, first off... It's never interesting or factual. <laughs> and two, um, the last time you started a sentence with that, the N-word came flying out of your mouth. <laughs> Do not talk to me about anything if it is not work-related. Wow. And oh. that uh, and lasted he, for almost three minutes. <laughs> then he called you an N-word and stormed off. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> God, that's terrible. All right, next question. The name of a lingerie store for men. 
balls and such. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah, it's garments that cover your balls and such. I, I got a million dollar ID, man. Nobody's ever thought of this before. Banana hammocks. Yeah. That would be the brand. Perfect. Trillion like, dollar idea. Like balls and such. Like balls and At such. At least you're original about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Me and Derek both knew don't go with banana. <laughs> that was the first thing in our minds we knew not to do it. Yeah. No. I can see it now. I could see the logo and everything. It would be such a multi-million dollar. Just, just sell a bunch of man thongs with like funny designs and stuff. I think it would be great. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? The Door Hanger Boutique. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's good. I do like that one. Doug's Drawers. Mm-hmm. Yep. You got Victoria's Secret. You can have Doug's drawers. Sure you can. Yeah, yeah. That's, I like that one too. Doug's, Doug's drawers. Doug's dirty secret. <laughs> <laughs> great. Doug's shameful, dirty <laughs> secret. It's fucking awesome. All right, next one. What's the worst time to tell your spouse that you want a divorce? You know when you're going to the grocery store and... <laughs> no. Uh, I would say probably... Uh, when they're demanding the ransom money. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, your wife gets kidnapped. Uh-huh. You're like, let me talk to her to make sure she's okay. And they put her on the phone, and you're like, honey, I want a divorce. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That'd be a pretty pretty bad time, I think. Yeah. Uh, for me, 2.30 a.m. Okay. I think, I think Is that, that the be... witching hour here? Yeah, that's, bad. that's the bad time. Uh, no, hey, honey, I, I, honey, wake up. <laughs> I want a divorce. <laughs> Why'd you hit me? <laughs> yeah, I think you that would actually be the best time because you can always say, I, I, don't, I, I don't remember saying that. I, yeah, I was a, you just <laughs> dreamed it, honey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I, in all seriousness, uh, Christmas dinner. I think that'd be bad okay. with, with your family and stuff. Sure. Oof. Drama. How about you, Jeremy? When you're on a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, that definitely changes things. What? I couldn't even imagine her reaction to that. Motherfucker, I've been stringing you along for all these years. <laughs> Do you know how many times that I've wanted... You're going to divorce me? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, now, I'm thinking, like, when you're on the roof, she'll take the ladder. You'll be yeah. stuck up there. Yeah, but I won't fall. <laughs> right. True. I can call the fire department. If I'm on the ladder, that ladder's coming down with me on it. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not the most graceful. Oh, I don't know. I disagree. I'm not. I don't have a gymnast's figure. <laughs> I, I think you're more like a gazelle, yeah. Jeremy. Very. Yeah, they're fast. Yeah. I'm, which is what I am. I'm fucking fast. You're, <laughs> you're athletic like Chris Farley. You ever see a fucking gazelle on a ladder? Yeah. Chris They're Farley. not the most graceful <laughs> fucking things. They got those goats or the ibexes or whatever that yeah. stand on the side of a mountain. You're yeah. like one of those. You're one of those, man. This ain't a mountain, guys. It's a fucking ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Whose aren't any good on rungs? <laughs> Everybody knows that. My grandpa taught me that. <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're was, did your grandpa have hooves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he had two Honda lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> and he just walked around on them. <laughs> front hands, yeah. That was fucking great. They were they were self propelled, and he'd just put a foot on each one and walk around. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Last question: A good name for a roller derby team composed of people who are blind. Here's the thing with this one. Um. I actually Googled uh, slurs for blind people. <laughs> oh, my God. There are none. Oh, really? <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> so now I've got some writing to do. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go with 10-car uh, pileup. 10-car <laughs> pileup. Yeah, there's... Five on a roller derby team, two teams, that's ten cars. Ten yeah. car pile up. Yep. Uh, well, something similar. Um, aimlessly rolling. Okay. That's mine. Jeremy? The German Shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all got them C&I dogs out there, don't they? I don't know, Scotty. I've never watched <laughs> roller derby. Well, uh, actually, I have. I, they I watched haven't. old style. Old school. Old school. Back, back in the fucking 80s, the 70s oh. and 80s roller derby. 
I remember where they brought it back, and it was like on like FX there for a while. Mm-hmm. They brought it back about the same time I brought Sexy back. <laughs> really? Yeah. And uh, I don't think it was the same. It was it was basically pro wrestling on yeah on skate. It back was in, back then. It was. Uh, I don't know the rules. I just know that women on skates were going around in a circle, knocking the shit out of each other. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Blockers and jammers are yep. the positions. Yep. And then okay. what's and the, the the jammer? I think has to make it all the way around. She has to take the lead lap. It has to make it all the way around. Right. Yeah. And that's a point. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's good <clears throat> shit. Good shit. So you get a point just for going around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But oh. you got to be in the lead. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, if you do have any uh, suggestions, you can send them to us at our Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. I think we should start a roller derby team, guys. We and should. Just for note, I can't skate. <laughs> Me neither. What's so I think we'd be good at it. What's we, our team name? I, I don't know. Uh, Scotty can't play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, you got to let me play. I'm part of the team. Uh, when I said we, I was talking about me and the wreck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that would be your nickname, too, would be the wreck. No. No? No. Okay. Hmm. That would not be my nickname. Chocolate Sludge? Mm-mm-mm. No? You'd be the Punisher. <laughs> okay. What'd I my, like that one. I like yeah. that one. What would, my Just nick- it, what would my nickname be? Waterboy? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Perinesium or whatever <laughs> the fuck it is. What, what's the scientific term for that? Oh, priapism? That your taint. Oh, uh, perineum. Perineum, yes. Yeah, so yeah, right. Perineum yeah. would be your, your name, Scotty. Fine. I just figured it would be asshole. I think it would be not invited. <laughs> That's what I would call you. Perfect. All right. Well, now we get to move on to a fan favorite part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And uh, just so everybody knows, last week, um, I fucking won. I fucking beat you. Buy yourself a fucking belt, asshole. I might. Shit. It's been such a long time that I might have to do it. I know it won it, and it was the... the See pe- if somebody will just give you one and give you another fucking <laughs> welfare belt. <laughs> okay, maybe. Uh, but no, I did uh, pull it out, uh, and uh, Derek came in second. Jeremy came in last, so this week you get first pick there, buddy. I sure do. Yeah, Derek you, Sandwich you, picks. You gonna tell him what we're drafting? Um, I'm gonna get there. Okay, uh, but I get the championship picks. I just want to make sure everybody is very clear on that. Uh, but this week's draft is going to be very, very special. It's actually going to have some homework attached to it. Uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite Urban Dictionary sex moves. We will draft what they are, but we will not explain what they are, which makes it kind of part of the fun. So you get to go and look what these bastards are and what they mean. Uh, So this week, Jeremy, you get first pick. So what are your favorite Urban Dictionary sex moves? Well, uh, I'm going to go with one just because it's so closely related to our show. Uh, Longtime listeners of our show will not have to look this up. Uh, I'm going to go with the side pocket. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn you. You motherfucker. <laughs> I told you I, what that was. <laughs> I, I learned that from our resident urban dictionary. <laughs> the wreck. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. If you know what that is, it's great. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. God damn it. There is nothing about that that is great. Oh. But I'm I'm glad you enjoy it, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, Derek, what is your favorite? Uh, just because the name makes me giggle, I'm going to go with the Bosnian seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> I Playground saw. equipment. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so great. Um, I'm I'm going to go with, uh, I get two picks, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to go with the Nigerian hurricane. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's about <clears throat> Reuben Carter, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, I'm going to go with uh, the Alaskan snow dragon. All right. Oh. <sighs> 
We can you can just pick side pocketing again if you want to. <laughs> All right. Once you do it once, you'll do it all the time. <laughs> That's I mean. right. How about you, Derek? The Flying Circus. Oh, okay. Sh- okay, I saw that one. Yep. Uh, damn it. All right. And Jeremy, you get two. I'm going to go with the Angry Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to Google any of Jeremy's. I know what they are. Exactly. Uh, all right. And... Oh, boy, so many good ones to <laughs> choose from. <laughs> Angry Pirate's one of my favorites. It is. It's one of mine. I had it on my list. The Space Dock Fondue. Damn it. I had that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Next pick, Derek. The Alligator Fuckhouse. Fuck. I wanted that one, too. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to go... With, uh, I'm gonna go with the Canadian porch swing. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, got those people up in Canada. I'm yeah. a firm believer. If you just throw a country and a food together, it sounds <laughs> dirty. It sure does. Like a Hungarian pop or pop tart, a Hungarian hot pocket, or a yeah, oh, Puerto yeah. Rican pop tart. Yep, every time. Polish pickle. <laughs> Is this your pick? <clears throat> Ugandan no. beef no. jerky. No. Uh, <laughs> You got to beef jerky. Uh, I still get one more, right? Yeah. I think so. Isn't it my pick? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the Kentucky Tractor Puller. Okay. <laughs> All right. Derek, what do well, you got? The Spastic Eagle. <laughs> the Spastic Eagle, huh? Yes. All right. I hope all of you guys are looking all of these up. If you don't know what they are, they're fucking great. Jeremy, you get two. Mm-hmm. Well, these are in alphabetical order here. There you go. Those are actual terms. Um, <laughs> A perineum. Yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Tony Danza. Tony Danza? Yeah, that's okay. a good one. I knew that one, too. Let's see. And uh, just just to represent, I'm going to go with the Wichita Barn Burner. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. I, I want, kind of want to look that one up because I don't know what that is. Derek? Once you find out, you'll be doing it all the time, man. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Derek, last pick. I think I might go with one that a very closely rivals side pocketing. Okay. It's pretty horrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, munting. <laughs> okay. M U N T I N G. Uh, munting. Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of happy uh, that I don't. Oh Coach Ken boy. Murphy does a video about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he does. Uh, he breaks. <laughs> Breaks it down from a fundamental standpoint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to tell you guys, I've got to, uh, I, I've got a lot to go with here. Uh, Derek's right. There's one. Uh, yeah, it's the internet. Quit yeah, I know. Fucking bragging. I know. You didn't come up with any of these. Uh, Derek was right. You could put a either a, a country name or even a state name and put a hot pocket in there. There's one mm-hmm. called the Alabama Hot Pocket. Yeah. Um, Cleveland Hot Waffle. Um, mm-hmm. I, I really wanted to pick this one, but I'm not going to. But I want you to look it up anyway. Look up sh- uh, smash debating. Yep. Uh, that's, I almost went with that. That's uh, it's fucking great. Uh, but I am going to end uh, with uh, the Cosby sweater. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I think that's uh, I, I, I want to work. One I read that was a suicide wank. Oh, yeah? That was fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, you I do ha- that on a ladder telling your wife you want a divorce? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, but no, this is this one was fun. I really enjoy this. I hope all of you guys look these up. Was uh, it? <laughs> yeah. I think was it, it all that fun? Yeah, I think it's great. The side pocket for the first pick was fucking that, excellent. That was going to be the second pick. <laughs> <laughs> but he beat you to it. Uh, but the as Peruvian always. pot roast. <laughs> but as always. <laughs> See? Yeah, just yep, just, yeah, yeah I, I don't even have to. Yeah. Uh, but as always, you can go to our Facebook page, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, or sorry, Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines, and you can vote for your favorite list of our 
our favorite Urban Dictionary sex moves, and you can vote for the list that you like best by uh, clicking on the corresponding emoji, and whoever wins gets the championship picks next week. The so. Danish Dorito. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and encourage everybody to pause it right here and go look this stuff up. And when you hit play, we'll be in mid prayer <laughs> <laughs> because we're all going to hell. Yeah, that's we are the uh, the Russian roll, roll away. I just uh, see there, there you go, Russia roll away. Maybe yeah, that one sucks. Okay, that Scotty, makes sense. that's yeah. fucking stupid. <laughs> if, if you uh, a retarded kid would be reprimanded <laughs> for bringing that up. Okay, fine. If, you would be reprimanded for wasting everyone's time. Okay, fine. Uh, the Ukrainian ugatuga. How about that? <sighs> For Christ's sake, there's no impact <laughs> wrenches involved, Scotty. <laughs> the Calcutta dinner roll. Thank you. There we go. See, that's great. Perfect. Perfect. That's a comedian. Yeah, that's right. You you suck, I know. Scotty. <laughs> well, I'm not a fucking comedian. No shit. Anyways, all right. So now we get to move on to uh, another favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, guys. Uh, Today's a little bit different. We're going to have a little math problem. Uh Uh-oh. If a train leaves Nashville, Tennessee on its way to Memphis at 7 a.m., traveling at 55 to 60 miles per hour, and another train scheduled to arrive from Memphis to Nashville at... 7.10 7.10 a.m. is running a half hour late, also traveling between 55 and 60 miles an hour. At what time will the two have a head-on collision? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is 7.20 a.m., and that has been worked out for a fact. That is not theoretical. That happened on July 9th, 1918. Uh, two passenger trains, one running a little bit late, collided on a single stretch of track known as Dutchman's Curve. Look that up in the Urban Dictionary. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it resulted in 101 deaths and 171 serious injuries. Uh, after doing a very thorough investigation on it, the Interstate Commerce Commission basically came up to uh, it happened because they didn't have a proper system for determining positions of the trains. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> and now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, all aboard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, so uh, what's, uh, what's this week's uh, shitty situation there, Jeremy? How the fuck should I know? I was busy researching a goddamn train crash. <laughs> Derek? I can't remember. I was yeah, figures as much. All right, doing stuff. <clears throat> this week's shitty situation. I was busy thinking about giving my wife a Dutchman's curve. <laughs> <laughs> this week's shitty situation is: Would you rather judge a child beauty pageant or referee a blind roller derby match? I- I'll mm-hmm. go. Go for it. I'm refereeing a blind roller derby match. Are you fucking kidding me? That would be hilarious. You get seriously fucking hurt. You could, but uh, I would much rather do that than be the pompous prick that actually judges a fucking child's beauty pageant. You, you, you're going to hell. Fuck that guy. Okay. Yeah. I'm going with the uh, beauty pageant. Really? Yeah. You, you got perv. No, you got to uh, you got to take them kids down a fucking notch or two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think uh, you make it a real close between first and last. Okay. So I think, and plus, I don't want to get my fucking dick knocked in the dirt <laughs> by a fucking blind roller derby team and I get bit by a dog or something. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the beauty pageant. Yeah. Do you think that this ro- the blind roller derbies they have those fucking seeing eye sticks? So they just fucking whip They got the dogs, sh- Scotty. They got, well, the, but some the of them have, st- yeah. not everybody can afford a dog. I got a stick. <laughs> yeah, the fucking sticks. <laughs> just fucking. Give me a stick. Whacking people with it. You know what? If you can afford roller derby gear, you can afford a fucking dog. <laughs> okay, fine. That's the rules of this fucking league. Yeah. All right, fine. 
Air Buds fucking roller derby in it. Up. Thank you. Yeah. 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 No, no, no rule that says a dog can't play roller derby. <laughs> no. right. Blind There's dog. not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, beauty pageant as well. Jesus. I, you know I'm an old song and dance man. Yeah. I, I'm a performance artist. I love the performing arts. And uh, no matter what, the fat girl wins. <laughs> 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 And it doesn't matter how horrible she is. I want to ruin some shitty mom's days. Yeah. And that's what you can do with this. You can actually use it to do some fucking good. Yep. You should. Sure and can. maybe discourage this shit from ever happening again. There you go. And I mean really berate those girls. The the ones who are really good and talented. Uh huh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> That was the worst rendition of Jesus Loves Me I have ever heard. I've had more <laughs> harmonic morning farts. <laughs> Get a pitch pipe, you no talent hack. <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our episode for this week. Uh, sincerely do appreciate all that you guys do. Uh, thank you very much. TikTok keeps growing. Uh, listeners keep growing, so you guys are doing what you're supposed to do and telling people about it, man. We really do appreciate that, you know? Right, guys? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, if you just stop fucking telling people and stop listening, we could go home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we can actually, we're it's in our contract. If we can get our listenership down below, what, like seven? Yeah. Then we can actually break our, our lease with Scotty. Mm-hmm. Our deal we made with the fucking devil. <laughs> Something when I signed up to be a fucking guest yeah. once. Yeah, <laughs> something tells me it's uh, it's not going to happen. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so very, very much. We do really appreciate it. Uh, again, keep doing what you're doing. And as <clears throat> always, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope your wife gets you all excited, telling you she's going to get let you do the old uh, Kentucky Klondike bar. Then next thing you know, bam, full-on Panamanian petting zoo. <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your aunt. And until next time, what would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.